Hey, fit outside the box, it's Carla. We are doing a strength workout today and we are gonna combine a little bit of cardio. So as you can see right behind me, I have my step bench and two weights. Those are eight pound dumbbells. You can use 10, you can use 12, you can use five, 15, whatever it is. Just make sure you choose the weight that's appropriate for you. Higher reps, right, than you would probably do if you were on your own working out in the gym. And we do keep moving the whole time. So that's where the cardio comes in. But mainly it's gonna be muscle work. And I love to work muscles. And um, I can tell you a little bit more about that. Check the, um, the text in the box below. And make sure you also like and subscribe. But I'll definitely give you some more deets about working muscles and why it's so important. Anyways, have fun. Leave me some comments. Share. And if you're not subscribed already, then please subscribe. Have fun. Starting with a warm-up. March it out behind your bench. Pumping those arms. Warming it up. Abs in, chest is lifted, shoulders down, marching out behind your bench. So we are rolling with an easy warm up. Nice big march. Our warm up is gonna be pretty easy. Tap your bench, tap it out side side. Those arms are gonna push away. So we rotate the waist, opposite arm, opposite leg. So tapping it up on top. Keep breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. We're gonna change these arms, but keep the feet. Goal post arms for eight. Seven, little rotation at the waist, six. Oh yeah. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth and keep the abs in nice and tight. We're getting ready to change this. Tap it outside and push across. Nice and easy, pushing across the body. Warm up those arms, the back, the core, the legs. Good, tap your bench top side side again with those arms. All of that stuff again. Rotate the waist, nice long arms. Brace your core. And here we go, goal post arms, rotate for eight, seven, six, five, keep going, last four. Two, tap it out wide, side, side, push across the body. Reaching across, stretching out your shoulders. Abs in tight. Good, nice and easy, march it out. Big inhale up and exhale, shake it out and grab those small weights. Time to get moving. Grab your weights and then tap it out side side. I'm used to saying small weights for my class. We use small weights and then we have heavy weights. But, um, and we always start with the small. All right, so tapping it out side side. Tap it out, tap it out. We're getting ready to leave one leg on top. Right leg on top. Good, and then lean in. Wrist under your shoulders. Keep the other leg pushed way back, abs in. And then squeeze those elbows into your ribcage. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my form. Basically, those wrists are under your shoulders. The elbows squeeze back. I'm gonna come back facing you. Just wanted you to see that. Good, four more. Squeezing it up and back with those elbows. And three, we're gonna change it a little bit. Easy pulse the top, little pulses right at the top. Keep your tiny pulses. Squeeze and squeeze. Spine long, shoulders down, abs engaged. Tiny pulses, about the top inch or two. Hold at the top, I'm gonna to turn so you can see me. Hold, kick back. Kicking those arms back, squeezing the back of those arms. Keeping your abs engaged. Brace your core. I'm gonna stay here so you can see me because we're gonna do a couple more things before we wrap it up here. Eight more kickbacks. Eight. Seven, squeeze the back of your arms. Keep those elbows high and engage those triceps. That's the area a lot of ladies complain about. They tell me about their wings. Nice and easy, hold it back and then pulse your palms away from the butt. So palms are open back and away. Tiny pulse behind the body for eight, seven, six, five little tiny pulses behind. Good, nice and easy. Lower those arms down, roll the shoulders. And that back knee is gonna come in and out. Back knee lifts in. Squeeze it in, tap it back. Option one, stay here slow. Option two, speed it up faster for eight. Seven, anchor that foot on top of your bench. 
doing a repeater knee, getting your cardio up. We're almost done. Listen for a change. Step on top with that left leg. Switch, other leg goes back, way back. Roll the shoulders, chest comes over that front thigh, and then go back to your row. I'm gonna turn for the other side so you can see my form. Elbows in, chest over that thigh. Elbows drive back towards the ceiling, squeezing your back. Keep going, I'm facing you again. We're getting ready to pulse the top, are you ready? Pulse it up, pulse. Squeeze just that top part, that top inch or two on a tiny pulse. Squeeze eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then hold kickbacks. So here's your kickback, turning again so you can see my form. Elbows are bent at 90. Squeezing back through the back of your arms, bracing through your core, engaging through the back of the arms. Again, keep the elbows high, eight more, eight. Seven, six, squeeze, five, four, abs in tight, three, two, all right, here we go, back and hold, palms flip out and pulse the top. Little tiny pulses right at the top, squeeze, keep it small, top inch or two. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring those weights down and that back knee is gonna come in. Back knee lifts up towards your midline, up towards your chest, pull it in. Option one, stay here nice and slow. Option two, speed it up. Let's go, if you want it fast, here we go. Driving that knee up and in towards your midline. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out on the floor. Marching it out on the floor right behind your bench top. March it out wide, palms face the thighs, sink into those hips into a little plie squat, and then both arms upright row. We're actually gonna stay in the plie squat. It's about a half range. You can be deeper in it if you want to. And keep that upright row. So on the upright row, you squeeze those elbows up and back. We're gonna add a lifting squat. So lift it up and sink down. Up and squeeze and sink. Abs in. Bracing the core, four more. And three, we're gonna add a pulse. Three pulses, three, two, and then sink. Three pulses, three, two, and sink. Do it again. Three, two, and sink into that plie. Seven pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower. One more time, seven pulses, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and sink, hold. Pulse that plie, flip your palms forward, abs in, keep that pulsing plie, eight, seven, six, five, hold at the bottom, chest over, bicep rows, both arms. So both arms working it on a bicep row. Palms open towards me, abs in, weight in your heels. Little tip happening from your hip, elbows drive back. Eight more, eight, seven. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Squeeze your back, squeeze your biceps. Drive those weights up towards your sternum, bowl your chest. Good, and pulse it back for eight. Six, five, Last four, and then easy release those weights down. Step in, hands outside your hips. We're gonna tap it out, side, side, left, right, on the left and the right. Keep on breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're actually gonna go back to that wide plie, just taking a little bit of a cardio break. Keep working it. Good. Four, and three, two, last one. All right, easy, take those feet nice and wide on the plie. Sink into the legs, chest open, abs in, upright row, squeeze. Squeeze through your back, taking those shoulder blades back and together, together. <gasps> Elbows high, chest is open, abs in. We're gonna take that squat up and down. Keep it working, eight more, eight, 
seven, six, five, here's four, sink and rise, three, two, here we go again, three pulses at the top, we get three, two and lower, again, three, two and lower, again, three pulses at the top, squeeze your back, one last time, good, seven pulses to the top, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower. Again, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and take it down, pulse the bottom. Pulse the bottom, flip those palms towards me, abs and chest is up, and lifted. We're getting ready to stay at the bottom. Easy hold, tip from the hip, palms forward, bicep roll. So squeeze those elbows up towards the ceiling, and the weights come below your chest, so you can squeeze your biceps. So squeeze the front of the arms, like that place where Popeye has like a big, you know, buff circle, keep it. Eight more, and seven we pulse. Six, five, keep your back flat as best as you can. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. So keep that back kind of flat, feet are wide. Here we go, pulse the top for eight. Squeeze those elbows back, squeeze between your shoulder blades, abs in, keep it, work it. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release, step in, march it out behind your bench on the right. All we're gonna do is go back to your tap, tapping it out on your bench top. So we keep moving, keeping your heart rate up, moving on. Tapping it out, couple more. We're getting ready to leave that right leg on top. So here we go, right leg stays on top this time. Dig in your heel, toes slightly lifted. Bend the back knee. We're gonna sink those hips back and down. Chest stays up, looks like this. Sink it back and down. Chest is gonna stay lifted. Brace in the core. Sink and rise. So it's basically like a one-legged squat because that leg that's on top of the bench should be nice and light with just your heel in it. Eight more, just like that, we get eight more. Seven, chest is lifted, shoulders down, six. Five, squeeze your butt to the top, last four. Three, two, hold at the top, palms in, hammer curl. So bring that weight to the shoulders and to the thigh, curl. Curl, curl. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're getting ready to add a leg lift, looks like that. Add it for eight, seven, six, five, and four. That leg stays up and it's gonna pulse and the weights will come down. Get ready. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Keep that leg up. Weights down, pulse that leg up, balanced. Tap the bench if you need to. Keep your abs in tight. Eight, seven, six, five, and four. That leg goes to the floor. Take it down, tap it out, left and right, oh yeah. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're gonna do the same stuff on the other side. So this time, that left leg stays on top, heel in, toes up, and squat. Send those hips back. Make sure your um, back leg is close enough to the bench so those hips can come back and down. A lot of times I see people doing a lunge here, but it's really a squat, looks like a one-legged squat. Keep that leg light, eight more, here's eight. You'll feel it a lot in your glutes, your butt, right? So your hamstrings in the back of your body. Four more, and four we stay at the top. Three, two, are you ready? Hold at the top, hammer curls. Pull those weights from mid-thigh up to your shoulders. Try your best to keep those elbows down so they're not rocking around. Keep your abs engaged. Keep driving your elbows down. Add that leg lift. Eight, seven, six. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Four more, here's four. And three, we're gonna do just the pulsing leg lift. Get ready, leg up, hold. Waist down and pulse that leg up, up, up. Just squeeze through your abs. Squeeze to the front of that thigh. Keep your pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and march it out right. Very nice, so marching it out behind your bench. And this time we're gonna take that march on top of your bench. Marching it out on top, feet are hip distance, 
abs in, hope my head doesn't get chopped off. <laughs> and then squat down and up. So we're getting ready to stay on top. And we're actually gonna change this to a lunge. But first, down and hold. And then pulse. Pulse it down, chest is up, abs in. Hold, right leg tap back, stay nice and low. Left leg taps back. Right leg taps right back behind and then the left leg. So tapping behind on the left, tapping behind on the right. We're gonna make this bigger so that it looks like a lunge. Tap it way back and lunge, eight. Side, side, seven, six, five, four, three, two, right leg only, lunge, eight, seven, six, five, four, way back, three, two, back and hold on the right, pulse it down, keep that tiny pulse at the bottom, brace your core, bring those weights to your shoulders, palms in, elbows down, hold at the bottom, and then up and press, lunge it up and press, eight, seven, six, Five, and four, we're gonna hold it at the top and reverse. Two, all right, you guys, up and hold, and then down and up. Down, 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 for four, three. Dig that front heel on the bench top, last one. Bring the weights in, land on top, march it out. Feet hip distance, plant the feet in. Squat down and up. Pulse the bottom. Nice and easy, hold it down. Tap back on the left, and then the right. On the left, and then the right. Keep it bigger, bigger. Eight, make it more of a lunge. Seven, six, stay low. Keep your weight on the front foot that's on the bench top. Left leg only for eight, seven, six, five, way, way back, four, and three, you're gonna keep that left leg back, get ready. Left leg back and hold, down and up, sorry, down and pulse. Keep your pulse. Our weights are already at our shoulders. Abs in, chest is lifted. Pull at the bottom, press it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Up and hold, and then go down and up. Down, down. So keep your weight on top of the bench. Sink and then press. Couple more. Last time. Good, step on top and then march on the floor. Marching it out, weights by your side. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice and easy, tap your bench top. Right and left, keep that tap. So one last thing and then we will wrap it up with some standing abs without the weight though. So nice and easy, right leg on top, tap the toe. So you can bring the left weight up towards your shoulder. Then then give me a goal post, arm. Keep that toe down, lift your heel. We're gonna rotate elbow to that knee. So cross the body, cross the body. Elbow to that knee. Couple more. Promise, two more. Good, keep that leg nice and light, tap it, keep that elbow to the rib cage. So squeeze it in and then back to your goal post. Keep that right leg tapped on top. We're gonna change it. Pulse that elbow in, pulse it for eight. Squeeze it in, seven. Keep your chest lifted. Squeeze into your shoulder blades, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, and four. Take it back to goal post. Goal post, elbow to knee. Last eight, seven, six, five, 
Hold abs in tight. Here's four. Already a little bit of core work, isn't it? Last two. And then one. Good, easy. Take that leg down, take that weight down. Tap the bench, left and right. Left, right, left, right. We're gonna do the same stuff on the other side. Brace your core. Chest is lifted. Left leg up. Tap the toe, lift the heel. Bring that weight up into goal post. Chest is open. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Four more, just like that. Four, three, two, and one. And then bring that elbow into your ribcage, in and up. Keep that leg tapped on the left. Four more, and then we pulse. Here's four, three, two, easy pulse it in for eight. Seven long ones, five, Keep it, work it, last four. Abs in, chest up, shoulders down. Squeeze the back of that arm, squeeze your armpit. Take it back out wide to your goal post and then elbow to knee. Cross it, cross it, cross it. Four more, here's four. Three, squeeze your abs. Two, stay really strong for your core. And done. Drop that leg down, take that weight down. March it out, ditch your weights. Standing ab time, brace your core. Marching out with those feet coming out nice and wide. Big inhale up. Full post arms. Sink into that plie, toes slightly turned out. We're gonna take one elbow down and then a reach. That side again, one elbow and then a reach. One elbow and then a reach. One elbow and then a reach. Do it again, abs in tight, one elbow and then a reach. Just reach and pulse down for eight. Seven, six, five, squeeze that space, rib to hip. Good, and then bring it back to your goal post. Abs in, same thing on the other side. It's gonna be one elbow, and then a reach. Keep it working, one elbow, and then a reach. Close that space, rib to hip, one elbow down, and then a reach, close that space, elbow, and then a reach. All right, finishing up that side, just reach. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and release. Come on up, arms down, roll the shoulders, shake it out. Come on down to your bench, have a seat on the edge. Legs extended, arms out in airplane arms. We're gonna reach one side and then the other. So rotate and reach, rotate and reach. Last thing we're gonna do for abs, one side only. The arm comes up overhead for it. Up and down, reach it over, reach across. Four more, and three more. Two, going back to side, side. Arms wide, side, side, for eight. Seven, six, how are you doing? We're almost done. Four more, three. Gonna isolate the other side only, are you ready? Other side only, get it, for eight. That arm comes overhead if you want, seven. Six, little lean back, reaching across. Last four, three, two, and one. Done, come all the way up, take your time. Shake out those arms, roll the shoulders. Big inhale, stretching it out, and exhale. Again, big inhale, and exhale. One last time, feet wide, big inhale up, and stretch. Quickie stretch, especially since we did some weights center and then other side open up those rib cage inhale up chest open thumbs down palms back a quickie stretch right arms in front right heel on top hips back hands down to the left side toes down reach for those toes we did it strength and a little bit of cardio as well slowly come on up roll those shoulders Lean in, stretch that back calf by pressing that heel down on your left side. One more time, big inhale, open up the chest. Tuck in the hip, sink the knee, open up that hip. Good, release. Other heel on top, cup the hands behind this time. Sink those hips back, straighten out the hand, that leg that's on top of your bench for a hamstring stretch. Release, 
Hands in front, reach for the toe, taking it down if you like. Slowly release, rounding up, shifting the weight forward. Heel down. If you actually stayed for the cool down, drop me a comment, because sometimes I'm like, nobody's gonna do the cool down in the stretch. Big reach, sink the knee. So if you actually stayed to the end and you did the cool down, you did the stretch, well, let me know. Inhale, open up that chest and release, step back. Big inhale and exhale, one more for the road. And we did it! Yeah, nice job, you guys. I love to work strength. So good for you. Ah, have a good rest of your day. And if you're doing this workout first,